Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to explain how you can actually create some AI apps that can help you generate leads for your product or service and showcase you an actual example of one of my clients and what we've been able to build using only no code tools. So. Uh, first off, it's important to understand why building apps. And this is uh, an example from HubSpot. So what HubSpot was doing and it's still doing is building a bunch of different products that uh, generate awareness throughout the community that give free value to the end users. And in that way, they can actually generate the leads, aware, uh, uh, leads for the products and awareness. The main problem with that is the fact that they spend a lot of engineering time to build these kind of free tools. So you need a lot of programmers, you need a lot of noding, uh, coding knowledge, but now with AI, you can actually ship a tool per week, even if you don't have coding knowledge. The only limit is the imagination of someone. So this is what I call the lamp stack model. So if you're familiar with uh, uh, Lamlist, which is a cold email tool, uh, Lamstack is a subset of uh, Lamlist and uh, what they are doing is shipping a tool per week. So an example here is this cold email generator where you can actually create some cold emails template based on AI and this is something that you can actually create in less than a week using only some uh, no code tools and maybe in the future we're gonna see also how. So imagine being able to ship something that is both valuable to your audience and then in the meantime you can actually generate leads. I think it's now important to understand how you can actually build a tool per week or how you can actually build a tool. And I think there are three main steps. So the first one is identify a small problem of your target audience, a very small subset of the main problem that you are solving with your product or service. The second point is identify an unfair data advantage that you have or that you can collect. This is an optional step, but uh, if you have some data advantage that you can use, this goes uh, a long way to help you build a tool that is sustainable and that is different from your competitors and that your competitors cannot copy because uh, you are using your own data. and. Uh, we're gonna see uh, how that can be used later on, for example. And after that, you can actually start the building process. And here, it's our example. Our example is an event idea generator. This client is selling a virtual conferencing tool that lets people interact uh, as close to a real life as possible. And their main problem, the a small subset of the main problem uh, of their audience was coming up with an event idea. So what we did here is uh, uh, create this tool that uh, based on certain information can generate some ideas. So let me show how it works. The tool is uh, uh, this one over here. Now I already compiled that with some information like the event type, the location, the target audience, the event description and the goal. Now I can actually click uh, generate my events idea wait some time and then the the tool is going to generate uh, some potential ideas that uh, the business can use uh, in order to create uh, a very powerful event so we're gonna wait here and as you can see we got five ideas of things that they can actually uh, use and create. Sometimes uh, these ideas are up in the air, some other times uh, are uh, pretty genius and now you can actually use these ideas and click to speak to an expert to uh, finish up the process and uh, um, actually talk with someone and in that way the lead is generated and you can actually start the sales process. So I think you might be wondering also how this is built and is it uh, difficult to build this. So there are three main parts here. There's one part which is the front end which is this Webflow tool then we have some coding inside Webflow, which I'm going to show you here, where we take all the information here that we have available. Then what we do is we pass this information inside the prompt. I hidden, uh, I hide the prompt here. And then what we do is we fetch the, this information, the prompt information, to make.com, which is gonna act 
as our AI generator. And then what we do is we uh, generate the results inside make.com and uh, send the results back to the website and display the result. So here is make.com. Uh, this is the first part where we fetch the prompt and the data that we have available. We run the prompt through OpenAI. OpenAI is going to give us a response and then the response is sent back again into the website and uh, here. So in this way you can actually create some AI apps which are really powerful and really simple to use. You can give free value, free value to your clients. The only thing that you pay is uh, the OpenAI uh, tokens, which are really, really cheap compared to building up a complete uh, um, tool from scratch. And then you can actually acquire profile leads that you can convert because people already use your tool. You can actually build something that helps you take the information that you add over here and transition those information into your CRM when they actually book a call. So in this way, the users are even more profiled. And if you're interested in creating something similar for your business, you can contact me at this link here, which I put down also in the description, or you can go to upliftedconsulting.com, which is my website, and click on book call. Hope this was interesting to you, and let's see in the next video. Bye-bye.